Hello everyone, it's me, Demetra K of the Demetra K Show, and I hope you're having a great day. So in a tell-all book called This Shall Not Pass, Trump, Biden, and the Future of America by Alexander Burns and Jonathan Martin, who are also journalists for the New York Times, they disclose a lot of things that are pretty telling about the relationship between Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. So in the book, it said that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris were supposed to meet once a week for lunch just to kind of build a good relationship and talk over some things and kind of build the relationship that Biden had with Obama. Well, they said that that hasn't happened at all. Last year, they only met eight times and this year they've only met two times. And so that's not going very well. Also, it is said that in a meeting that Joe Biden had with the Republicans when he was trying to get his $1 trillion infrastructure bill passed, Kamala tried to interject an opinion and they said he talked to her so crazy that even the Republicans were taken aback like, wait a minute, wow, really? And so they said from that point, Kamala kind of seems withdrawn and, you know, cause she felt belittled and disrespected. So they said in meetings that she's, she does attend, that she doesn't really say much. And they've also said that Biden said that when they first got together in the White House, that she would be the last person to leave the room, that he would include her in all of the meetings and all of that. Well, they said that ain't true either. They said, in fact, that there's been plenty of times that he's asked her to leave the room and I guess not hear what was being said. So it is also said in this book that Joe Biden's wife, Jill, was very dead set against having Kamala Harris as the vice president because she didn't like that she attacked her husband. Remember during 2019 when they had the debates rather? And Kamala called Joe Biden a racist. Remember when she says, I was that girl on the bus when you did the busing, blah, blah, blah. So she called Joe Biden racist. So Jill was like, out of all the people in America, why her? But anyway, also it says that Kamala feels very disrespected by Joe Biden's white staff, right? Like they don't really respect her or anything like that. It also said that Kamala was selected to get the black vote. Putting a black woman in office with him was a way for him to secure the presidency. Well, we already knew that too, right? And so back to what I was saying, this is not a surprise to us, especially in the black community. We've been saying those things, right? So if Kamala thought she was gonna go to the White House and she was gonna be calling shots and telling people what to do, well now's her so-called Negro wake up moment because I know some people say she's not black, but let's say she is, right? Here's her Negro wake up moment, her wake up call that you ain't, you know, running nothing in the White House. You just as black as everybody else that the Democrats do dirty, right? So Kamala might as well go on into the kitchen and start busting some suds at this point because Joe Biden is like, thanks Negress, thanks for getting me in here because this is my third time running for presidency and the third time's a charm and thanks to you for getting me in here, now beat it. That's pretty much what the book is claiming that he is doing to Kamala. Not a surprise, but I guess those chucks and pearls didn't really work after all, right? So I, I wanna laugh, but I wanna be a decent human being and not laugh, but y'all spread the word that Kamala has been deduced down to the White House Mary. So anyway, y'all, for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel, like the video, and thinking about becoming a member. I would love to have you here. Peace.